Hi, this is Attila16, and this is a video of uh, Wargame Airland Battle. In this case, what I'll do is I'll explain to you the deck uh, that I'm presenting to you here, which is a Danish deck, and then after that I'll show you how to play with it. Now, this is a, a Danish deck which is restricted to Danish uh, units, and it's also uh, prior to 1975, and the reason for this is that uh, based on my observation of the units, uh, there's not many units which you lose by uh, restricting yourself to 1975 and prior. Uh, but uh, the thing is that, um, to be honest, having that restriction doesn't restrict you much <laughs> in terms of uh, the essential units of this deck. So, um, this deck is... Uh, more numerous in number so each uh, unit card that i have have uh, more in number because of uh, the bonus from uh, prior to uh, 1975 so for example here i have a command vehicle which is a jeep as usual in nearly all my deck i'm using this and i have eight of them instead of six i believe or four depending on the faction faction so um that's pretty nice then i use the um, supply truck then i use an fob to resupply my troops but let's move into infantry so uh, the danish uh, will see that their main weakness is their lack of anti-air uh, against chopper and plane they are not per well mostly chopper and uh, that's why i think having a good uh, anti-air infantry is important this is why i'm using this unit right here and i'm using them with the m8 uh, m6 i mean vehicle which you can see here it's unarmed so it's purely a transport but uh, what's useful about this is that it goes at uh, 150 km an hour on the road and 65 off road and the reason why i'm using this is that uh, uh, with anti-air you don't really need your transport to fight and also, since I have the, the restriction of uh, 1975, uh, the best transport I have is this one, uh, which is an APC with a, a machine gun, but that's uh, not particularly uh, effective against anything. So that's, that means it's better to have a faster moving speed like this thing than uh, rely on something heavier like this for transporting anti-air, which are not frontline units. Okay, then I use, uh, you have only one choice of anti-air in this case, and uh, they have an amulet launcher, which is fire and forget, which is important because that makes them effective against plane. Uh, and you have four uh, missile, so you, that means you will have to resupply them likely, but, uh, and also I'm using them with veteran level because I have more uh, of them because of the bonus of prior to 1975 so as a result uh, I use veteran level which means that they will likely hit their target and it will be much more effective so I'm using the bonus to my advantage by increasing the quality of the Danish troop for example here I'm using what uh, will be uh, the reserve of the Danish which you have in great number 34 and actually you can have 45 of them, but I'm using trained uh, reserve, which means that they are actually uh, less in number, which is still quite a lot in number. And they will be very effective also. Then uh, I use uh, Live Garden, which uh, in this case I'm using the APC, and the reason for this is that uh, it's more likely that they will end up into the fight and they deserve to have some protection while going there. And these I'm also using them with uh, maximum experience level, which means that they are at veteran uh, level of experience. That means that uh, they will be extremely effective in the fight. So uh, that's why this um, prior to 1975 is important, I guess. Also here I'm using Hawks. Uh, the Danish Hawks is a little less powerful than the American one. Uh, but in this case, what's interesting is that I'm bringing it with the maximum level of experience, which is veteran. And as a result of this, even one hawk launcher might actually end up killing stuff. Uh, so to compensate their uh, 
less effective uh, uh, accuracy or uh, capacity over the American one, uh, the, uh, the experience will compensate. Also, here I'm using one group of uh, uh, artillery, so that means that I have five, uh, four, uh, which is pretty good. Also, I have three uh, hawk, uh, two group of three, so that means I have six hawk. And they are veterans, so that's good. And here, the artillery, I keep them at as trained because uh, you want uh, to have a lot of firepower as opposed to precision in some case. When it comes to tank, I'm using the Leopard 1A3 uh, DK and I'm giving it veteran C. So they will be veteran. And I have two group of 11. I also have Centurion, which I give Veteran C as well, so they are Veteran as well. I have two group of 17. So the, these tanks end up being very effective because of their experience. Now in terms of uh, Recon, I use Jaeger with um, the Seeking Transport. And uh, those Jaeger are now numerous, uh, they are 11. And I think this will be my main unit at the beginning to capture towns. And the reason for this is that they do have a machine gun for close quarter combat. And Carl Gustav with six uh, rockets and uh, probably a submachine gun. Yeah, that's a submachine gun, which will uh, allow them to fight infantry. Also, I use the Garder Usarin uh, or, or whatever. Now these uh, are a little less uh, good than the Jaeger, but uh, they are less expensive. They still have four rockets, which is uh, pretty good still. Um, and you can sneak around, they go at 27 km an hour, which is okay. And uh, yeah, the transport itself, the Sea King that I use for those two units here, uh, it's okay, it doesn't go that fast, I will not rely too much on it to fight the enemy, but uh, it's mostly like uh, your vanguard. Then I also use uh, this chopper for recon purpose, so they will support my lane troops and spot the enemy for them. Uh, it's uh, not particularly expensive, it's not the best uh, chopper ever, but that's all we have now. In terms of vehicle, I will rely on this uh, small guy right here. This is actually a very good unit, and Danish are not the only one using that type. But this is a unit which costs 25, and it fires a tow missile, which are really deadly. So you can, and they are also very fast. They go at 18, 80 km an hour, and they go at 150 km an hour on the road. And as a result of this, you can actually bring many of them where you need them and they can suppress the enemy and destroy them before the enemy destroy them all. So they are, you have so many of them that you end up being effectively destroying the enemy that uh, just don't manage to destroy you. At the same time, since it's a small target, uh, if the enemy fire a missile at it, uh, it might have higher chance of missing. So that's something which is interesting. Then I complete this with uh, this tow launcher, which uh, are I'm less likely to use, although it's still pretty uh, effective. So the uh, I will likely rely on these uh, vehicle to uh, win the battle, especially against large formation of tank. Now, in terms of helicopter, there's nothing because I'm uh, in a deck which is prior to 1975 and in terms of planes well I have uh, essentially all the planes the Danish can have and the thing is that uh, yeah that I have a lot of planes essentially as a result of uh, 1975 bonus and uh, the thing is that the Dragon for example will be an effective uh, force to destroy a valuable enemy uh, tank the Starfighter will be good to bombard the uh, enemy uh, formation. And the F-16 will be good at bombing enemy light vehicle and infantry in buildings and that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I will say the Danish is not a faction I am particularly uh, amazing, uh, amazed by in this game. Uh, I think they have okay units, but uh, the they are lacking capacity against chopper, I say, and uh, 
the hog is fine but it's not enough and uh, we'll see how it goes but that's not my favorite faction although i think this deck that i'm presenting to you uh, here is probably one of the most effective one i did with this okay so i'm playing with my danish deck this is uh, once again a random battle which uh, has random people in it so <laughs> it's 10 versus 10 I have no idea what are the capacities of uh, my team. I don't even know them. And uh, also, I don't really know the capacity of the enemy team. So, this will be interesting. So, the first thing I'll do is uh, I will deploy Sea Kings uh, with my Jaeger Recon. And with these, I will try to secure the towns uh, over there. And also, I will send my command vehicle into Echo. Uh, to because I need to and what else will I do in this uh, early part I guess I can bring more uh, recons here that probably will be a good idea so uh, with those recon that will be a good complement to my Jaeger even though those recon are I will say a little less powerful than my uh, Jaeger, even though they cost the same. And their main re well, actually they don't cost the same. But anyway, they uh, they have only four anti-tank rounds, and that's uh, probably the only interest uh, of them because uh, other than that, they have a rifle. But uh, globally, they won't be able to fight too well. So I, here I'm really relying on Jaeger to hold uh, those towns uh, ahead of us. Fortunately, here in the center, I, I seem to have um, at least two guys which uh, are spending their uh, uh, points uh, at the first of all artillery here and uh, at least some troops which will help me in the center. So let's go for it. I think what I'll do actually is I'll send my Jaeger on the right town and I'll send my uh, my other recon on the left town and the reason for that is that uh, this right town here is uh, much more likely to be attacked at some point and also it's uh, much more difficult to capture Lima so by supporting uh, this town with my best troops I will uh, likely help out the guy which is going for Lima, assuming there's anybody going there. Or worst case scenario, if there's nobody going there, well, I, at least I won't. Uh, they will have a hard time coming through the center. Okay, so let's see. Still uh, choosing where to deploy my troops. Well, here I will say that uh, this town is less likely to receive an attack. I don't really know why, but uh, I guess uh, the path is less attractive to people. Which is in itself uh, a good enough explanation, usually. Okay, well here okay, we have uh, somebody which is going to November, so that should be nice. And we don't seem to have anybody going to Lima directly. Now, as a result of this, that means I end up into quite a fight here. So I did well to send my elite troops in there. So what I'll do here is I'll land my troops. There's also an enemy attack here with uh, MI-28. So this is quite uh, the fight right now. All around the place. Landing my Sea King. Now as my Jaeger will come uh, on the ground, hopefully this will secure the area faster. Now here fortunately uh, my troops landed, which uh, I will qualify as safely nearly. Well here there's still some fighting going on. I will take off uh, with my choppers and support my troops. Okay, now there's uh, this MI-24 here, which is dangerous. But I will try to prioritize the destruction of enemy infantry. I don't really mind uh, the chopper. And here I will also bring in some reserve infantry. 
I guess I'll do the same on this side because uh, there seem to be a lot of interest for this town. Alright, so let's get uh, into uh, buildings, shall we? Quite a lot of uh, enemy infantry as well. Pretty good infantry on top of that. Oh, well, this is quite the fight. And those VDVs are really dangerous, so you should be aware of that. At the same time, there seems to be artillery falling on my troops. I guess I won't have any choice but to bring in some uh, air support. So I will bombard that side here. At the same time here, I hope that... Uh, actually, I forgot to bring my own command vehicle here, which was a mistake. Okay, let's see. Should I reinforce the right side or the left side? That's a good question. Left side seems a little more safe, even though there's enemy choppers around. But on the right side, I think uh, it's much more dangerous for our side uh, if the enemy take it. So I will uh, bring F-16 to suppress the enemy. At the same time, here my Jaeger are still effectively fighting the enemy, although they are dying slowly. I have my reserve, which are coming as well. On this side, what's this? Oh yeah, these are my reserve that I brought, but did not care for them. So let's see about this. Deploying them into the buildings. I will try not to neglect my reserve on this side. Okay, I think uh, we did manage to uh, chase the enemy out of this town, which is a great news. I will bring more reserve to reinforce the rank. So let's unload these. Okay, there we go. Now I'll bring in another airstrike on the enemy position. There seem to be some... Uh, Enemy planes flying above, I will bring some Hawk in order to suppress that. While here, I will unload my reserve. There we go. I will pull back my vehicle from the fight. Here, I will secure this side of the town as well. My F-16 are doing successful strike against the enemy infantry. Which is a good news. I guess I need to bring more infantry in, and I guess also that uh, the uh, level of training of my uh, reserve infantry uh, does help me a lot right now, because uh, they need to fight uh, some pretty good troops. My F-16 are suppressing the enemy and chasing them out of the town. I will move my troops forward. And uh, it seems that the enemy doesn't have uh, much anti-air, which is uh, fortunate for me. So I will bombard their troop, which are exposed at the moment. Well, here I will unload my troops. Like this, I will pull back my transport vehicle. I will keep them nearby because um, I don't want them to uh, be too far. Because sometimes it can be useful to waste those... Uh, transport okay so we now have some uh, hawk nearby but that's uh, not enough okay well here his chopper are landing so I will make a strike on the area near it and uh, I hope that by doing so uh, I will be able to destroy potential infantry down there now the enemy is also bringing some BMP here, which are now intercepted by my uh, reserve infantry, but I'm not sure that uh, my reserve infantry will be good enough for that situation. Oh, they seem to be. While here my uh, airstrike did manage to destroy quite a few chopper. Here I have some troops, which are likely reserve. I'll bring them in. 
But now to secure the place, I guess we need some tank which will intercept any reinforcements from that area. So I'm calling in some leopard, which are few in number but reliable in quality. At the same time, it's possible that the enemy attack me here. So while I will reinforce the town still, I'm uh, seriously thinking about um, starting to build some force on the uh, right side. So my reserve are fighting well at the moment, although here I'm uh, losing a few of my transport. I will send those reserves into the, the town here, but they are too few in number. So sadly, I cannot uh, say that I preserve the life of my men over there. Here I will unload some more reserve. There we go. Well, here I seem to have lost a few troops. My guess is that I should probably start to take care of uh, that forest over there. So what I'll do here as a safety measure, I will send some Centurion, which are a good tank. Good level of experience in this case. My F-16 are suppressing the VDV pretty well so far. At the same time, I should be aware that uh, the enemy will likely bring some, uh, uh, I guess, uh, reliable anti-air soon. That's something I should expect. At the same time, the enemy is bringing choppers, which means that I'm a bit in trouble. So I'm bombarding the town over here. I'm killing a few more enemies. At the same time, let's see what's over there. I guess I will bombard these uh, salamander with my uh, starfighter, and I will hope that uh, it will do something useful. Uh, the enemy are uh, attacking me uh, more and more with uh, more troops. Now let's see if the cluster bomb will actually hit those uh, planes, our choppers. Did it one, but that's not enough. And I did lose my uh, uh, my plane on top of that, which is unfortunate. Okay, now let's see what's going on over here. My centurion are coming. I probably should um, bring some hawk to defend this passage as well, because while we're fighting for that town here, which is uh, not particularly uh, an objective at the moment, uh, but it seemed to be the focus of the fight, I, I, there's still a possibility that the enemy will try to flank me there. I might also call in some of those uh, tow launcher here, uh, which I'll deploy nearby. Now the enemy is deploying some sapery, which I will need to get rid of. They are not that dangerous, but uh, still I need to take care of that. Now at the same time, let's see what's going on here. I have my hawk, which are about to be in position, and it's really taking forever. Uh, my troops are also killing a few enemies uh, in their chopper over there. The left side of the town is still under my control at the moment. I guess I will re-engage my uh, vehicle over there. Yeah, they're coming with uh, a lot of uh, tank here. While well, here I will unload my anti-air unit which will likely get rid of all those MI-8 uh, hopefully so my leopard ten tank are getting back in At the same time here I will need some better troops here to secure that uh, position I have uh, over the enemy here I have some reserve which are taking uh, advantage of their uh, stealthy position to get rid of those uh, APC my leopard are in the forest and they will suppress the enemy troops over there which are either landing or there's different tank there's plenty of stuff in there it's crazy okay i will need more uh, f-16 strike perhaps but i'm low in resources so i will won't be able to do that 
Same time, the enemy is bringing some planes, which my uh, my Hawk launcher will likely be able to take care of. At the same time, on this side here, I have my two Hawk, which are deployed. And uh, let's see how it goes. So my Hawk are now in position to kill all the enemy chopper, and they did. That was uh, pretty effective. At the same time, the quality of enemy troops in the area seem pretty good at the moment. I think I will need some artillery, so I'm calling in my artillery. I'm deploying them here, uh, which will allow me to uh, potentially uh, bombard this area. At the same time, now the enemy artillery likely is aware of my hawk, or perhaps, yeah, yeah they are. Now I'm pulling back my hawk, they did their job. I'm simply moving them uh, elsewhere in the forest. It's just to be able to dodge uh, the enemy uh, artillery strike. I will also turn off my hawk radar because I don't necessarily want my hawk to uh, uh, to, to be proper target for a seed mission. Okay, while we're at it, uh, let's see what else is going on here. I have some infantry which I can now bring into the forest here and I think I will start to think about pushing on this side there. I have a few, f a few tank here, Leopard, with maximum experience as well. And these might be very good at uh, advancing into this uh, forest over there and potentially securing the area. Okay, now let's see. Let's check my artillery. Because the enemy is now bombarding the town with his own artillery, so I will do counter artillery fire. Now let's uh, kill those separate over there. The thing is, Sapari is not particularly amazing in this, so... Okay, now I will tell my uh, Leopard to calm down. They are now suppressing uh, whatever they see. Well, here, there's a few Strela. Let's get rid of them. So my infantry is getting rid of the enemy anti-air, which were hidden or concealed into the forest on those hills. Now there's those T-55 seem to be having more success than my leopard tank in the fight but now that they are advancing my leopard tank yeah, seem to be a little better at it or perhaps not the thing is that uh, in this kind of fight uh, I guess uh, it's all about um, the um, the fact that you're close, so you're the closer you are from your enemy, the more uh, power you have, so kinetic power for your tank. So that means that even if you have the best tank, it's possible that uh, your uh, troops uh, won't beat the enemy because uh, they have more firepower. Okay, so my uh, leaf garden are. Clearing out uh, this hill over there. I think I will bring more of them. And yeah. At the same time, the uh, constant attack on uh, that town seemed to have uh, relaxed a little. Okay, what's that? There seem to be some enemy infantry in there. Okay, these are recon. What kind of recon? I don't really know. My troops are managing to kill a few, but they just were outnumbered. I guess uh, it was the extent of uh, my uh, troop capacity to fight. At the same time here, all my troops are really damaged. So I will need to uh, restore them, so I will bring in some supply vehicle. And I have my Centurion as well, which are coming in. This area right here is covered as well. I think what I'll do here is I'll bring a Recon Chopper, which will allow me a greater uh, view distance. Ok, 
Okay, there's a few enemy on tire here, which just died. Thanks to my uh, launcher range. I guess I'll bring a, a recon chopper here as well. At the same time here, there's a big hole in our front and nobody seems to be watching it. It's def they are defending that position here, but uh, that's not enough. Okay, so I have my Centurion there. Now the enemy artillery is killing my uh, troop, my supply vehicle. And also I have, yeah, okay, supply vehicle are going in there. I can expect uh, quite a, a few artillery shell falling on my troops. Oh, they are coming in with uh, a smoke screen this time. They are getting smarter. I will uh, move in with my F-16. I will drop uh, on their position. So you can now see the F-16 moving in. Moving through even. And doing uh, all kind of uh, amazing maneuver just to drop bombs on the enemy. There we go, bombs away. Sadly, I think it's a little behind the enemy. Okay, this vehicle here delivered its supplies, so I'll pull it out. At the same time, here I do have some artillery which I will use to suppress the enemy into that town over here. There we go. So I'm essentially right now refilling the the ammo and uh, rank of my troops using uh, those command vehicle. At the same time, it's clear now that uh, the enemy has uh, too much anti-air to bring in any more planes because I did lose my plane uh, very fast. So I guess I will only be able to take back that town using infantry and artillery. So let's suppress the enemy. At the same time, my troops are really doing well because uh, even though they are few in numbers, they are managing to kill the enemy from afar. And it's probably due to the fact that uh, my troops are recons. <laughs> They're receiving quite uh, a punishment for it. We'll deploy some leopard in that forest here. The sweetie will have a good angle to suppress the enemy over there. While well, my centurion are now into a position where they can uh, destroy uh, the enemy APCs, which are BMP3, by the way. Let's see what will hit that strike eagle. Okay, there's a few enemy on tire here. So I think I will actually take a risk here. And I will try to destroy those anti-air with uh, star fighters. I don't think I saw anything else other than these in terms of anti-air, but I guess uh, spending a star fighter won't be too much. And my team is winning by 5,000. Now the question is, what's my part in this? Okay, I'm the one having 2,000 uh, 300 and. Uh, Six, well, keep going out. Anyway. So I'm the one making the job, essentially. Not the only one, but uh, an important one, I guess. Lots of uh, anti-air here. Well, my cluster bomb strike here did hurt quite a bit the enemy in terms of anti-air capacity. I will also make some strike on that side with more star fighter, because I saw that there was uh, quite a bit of enemy uh, anti-air over there, so I'll drop those bombs following the forest line. There we go. So I'm sure they did appreciate the payload. 
And now... Oh, I actually have uh, some troops here which I should probably unload. There we go. Unloading. So I'm reinforcing my town with uh, reserve infantry. Okay, while well here... Killing lots of anti-air. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of anti-air that I just blew up. I don't know if it was all anti-air, but uh, it was a lot of uh, 20 points units. Okay, while well here I will go across that hill, hoping that no enemy uh, troops will uh, spot my troops. Because what I want here is to have a good view on the enemy. At the same time, seeing what I saw here, I think I will bring in some uh, Centurion, which might be an effective uh, force to advance. Well, on this side, there are some VDV, which are proving to be a pain. Okay, I have a visual on the enemy artillery. I think I will. Uh, estimate that uh, there's no more anti-air. Actually, there is anti-air. Which I will try to destroy by targeting here. Kind of broke at the moment. But we're leading by a comfortable advance. I guess I will send my infantry in uh, to try to destroy those cob. Which are a priority target. Okay, let's see. So I have an incoming starfighter. I will target the other cubs. Seem to have deployed the cubs uh, two more groups, so one less group of cubs here. Okay, well here there's a lot of stuff. This is like Christmas. Okay, I'll call in more uh, strike fighter. We'll prioritize the destruction of the enemy cubs. Okay, that wasn't uh, the path I chose, but whatever. Now there's so much action going on that there's even a desync. But I guess uh, the battle is about to end, and I'm even killing more cubs here. The action is going on here. About, uh, yeah, there's so much stuff in there. Okay, I'm calling in more airstrike, but uh, at this point, uh, it's uh, likely not worth it. And there we go. So, let's see the result. I had uh, 3,760 points in kills and 2,300 in losses, which is pretty good, all things considered. I think I did use most units, so you did see the different uses that I did with the, those different units. And uh, you can see here that my Jaeger really were amazing in this battle. And these are my recon from the beginning. So they fought uh, during all the battle and thanks to their level of experience, did kill quite a few enemies. My F-16 were also really useful, uh, mostly because I got lucky, I think. And my reserve infantry did uh, use its purpose. My Hawk also shut down uh, quite a few uh, choppers, which is surprising, all things considered. They even shut down some uh, <laughs> vehicle. Go figure. Uh, it's probably proximity explosion. Uh, well, here more Starfighter uh, doing against enemy cobs. And my Centurion did well. Starfighter did kill quite a few once again. Starfighter, Starfighter. You can see that those cluster bombs are amazing against uh, static defense. So... That was it for this deck. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you did learn a few tricks. If you uh, have specific requests about future videos, tell me and uh, I'll see what I can do. So, I'll see you around.